what is generalized anxiety disorder? I think you know. It's uncontrollable and excessive worry all the time. People who have generalized anxiety disorder are often fatigued or sick or have stomach aches or headaches. But this seems kind of weird. I mean, if they worry all the time, why would they have all of these physical symptoms? Worry is stressful. And when you're stressed, your brain releases stress hormones like cortisol. And what those hormones do is they suppress non-vital systems in your body. And one of those systems is the immune system. And now the reason they suppress these systems is because evolutionarily, when you were in a stressful situation, it was generally a life-threatening situation. So you encountered a bear and you had to run away. So your brain would release these chemicals in order for you to have all of your energy to run away or to fight the bear. However, if you're worrying all day, all the time, these hormones are still being let out into your brain and they're suppressing your immune system and they're causing you to get sick. Whatever you do right now at this moment, do not think of a yellow rose. What did you just think of? You thought of a yellow rose. This is called ironic processing. It's a really big problem for people with generalized anxiety disorder or GAD. I think you know what GAD is. It's uncontrollable and excessive worry about everything, all day, all the time. And the reason this is a problem for people with GAD is because they tell themselves, oh, I'm worrying a lot, I need to stop worrying, I need to stop thinking about my husband on his ride home from work. And because they're telling themselves to stop thinking about their husband on the ride home from work, they think about their husband even more. So ironic processing is really a problem in this sort of situation. Some other interesting information about GAD is that it has a high comorbidity rate with depression. GAD and depression have a genetic correlation of one. Now, if you recall from statistics, things can be correlated at negative one, which is a negative correlation, zero, they're not correlated at all, or one, which is highly positively correlated. This means that if you have generalized anxiety disorder, you have a very high chance to become depressed or even the other way around. What's the difference between fear and anxiety? This is a question you will have to know the answer to if you're ever going to diagnose anybody with any sort of anxiety disorder. Now, what is fear really? Fear is a reaction to some sort of stimulus that is in the present moment, something that's threatening. So fear is a reaction to the immediate and fear can have a pretty strong bodily response. Your heart rate goes up, you start sweating, you get this fight or flight response. Anxiety on the other hand is the same type of emotion it's the same sort of feeling, except it's with respect to something that could possibly happen in the future. So the answer to the question, what's the difference between fear and anxiety, is really proximity. Fear is the reaction to something now, whereas anxiety is your reaction to something that could occur in the future.